Stop overthinking you don't have to be perfect. Stop overthinking you don't have to be perfect. You just have to do it, okay? Okay. Hi, my name is Scholar, and you have the power to change your life. You really do. <laughs> Okay guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today, I don't know if you can tell, I'm very excited to be starting a challenge with you guys, but also a little bit nervous. So this is gonna be a 21 day challenge with the aim to change my life. And I thought you guys might wanna get involved. Well, I asked you guys if you wanna get involved on Instagram and here on my YouTube, and a lot of you guys were like, yes, please get me involved. Now, if you're new to my channel, I actually used to do a lot of these challenges, but they were always really centered around weight loss and transforming your body. Whilst these were really beneficial for me at the time when I needed them, I feel like I've grown a lot, I've learned a lot about myself, and I've realized that just isn't a focus in my life anymore. I still want to be healthy and fit, but I realized that there's so many different aspects of my life that play into this and I'm sure you guys have noticed from my videos lately that I am shifting away from my life revolving around weight loss because it just wasn't good for me and I definitely want to speak more about weight loss and my relationship with my body and how I gain and lose weight or what my body looks like etc etc I will be making a video on that so that is something we're going to chat about later I want to create harmony and synergy in every single area of my life as well as health and fitness. I'm sure all of you guys are aware that health and fitness isn't isolated. You can't be healthy and fit if you're stressed about your job. I mean you can and you can do your best to do so but it's so important to acknowledge that different aspects of your life can actually affect your health and fitness and it's so important to be able to try to do the best you can to target every single area of your life so that you can get to a healthier and happier your place if that makes sense but anyway before we get into the video if the energy feels right if you like my vibe make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you get notified when I do upload and feel free to leave a cheeky comment down below if so far you're like yeah I want to get in on this challenge this sounds like a bit of me I love it okay <laughs> so let me actually get into what this challenge is going to be about so for the next 21 days I am going to be focusing on the small things in order to have a bigger impact on my life now I feel like a lot of the time because I love to dream big, I love to think big. I tend to lose sight on the small little things that can actually build up to change your life and help you to feel better as a person inside and out. And that's all I want to do because I've really neglected those little things that really help me to feel my best and actually help me to progress in the ways that I want to. So bam, first of all, we've got a habit tracker for this challenge. Now this is one I was testing out this week, but here's just a blank one so you guys can see what the habit tracker looks like. So we have got the habit section and the section where you just like fill out all the habits you're gonna be doing. Now I feel like I'm actually gonna add extra sections to this habit tracker just because I wanna add extra notes to make sure Sure that we're all staying on track and we're all being mindful and also just being kinder to ourselves because by no means and this is gonna be a little bit controversial I don't actually want us to complete every single habit every single day if you do great but if you don't that's okay because I really want to take into account mental health days and just other areas of your life that might affect and be barriers in trying to complete your habits. The aim is to at least get over 50% of the days on here ticked off. That is all that I ask because I feel like sometimes we expect ourselves to be perfect robots that we simply are not. Now, in an ideal world, yes, you would take every single day off and do great, but that's probably not gonna happen. But the problem is if you put pressure on yourself to take off every single day, all it takes is one day for you to fall off and for you to feel like a failure feel like you're not good enough and just be like crap I'm not even gonna go along with it I'm not gonna do it again I'm just gonna leave it there and I don't want us to quit I don't want us to give up on ourselves I want us to keep pushing forward so I I'm gonna add a little note just to remind us that, you know what, if you don't do every day, that's fine. Our aim is just to get at least over 50% so that these habits do become a part of our lives because I still truly believe that even if you don't do every single day, these habits can become part of your life. Okay, let me show you an example of what I was doing last week when I was testing this out and how I'm gonna be changing it this week and for the next 21 days to make sure that it's actually serving me in the best way it can. And I really encourage you guys to do the same thing, like you don't have to start today you don't have to start tomorrow like 
we're gonna get into all of that because I want this to be a more mindful, a more open challenge that, that takes into account that we're humans and we're all under construction. We're all working on ourselves. We're not perfect yet. Okay, so first of all, I put walk, journal, meditate, read, and stretch. So those were my main ones. So I put walk because I want something about movement, getting myself outside, journal because I really want somewhere where I can work on my mental health, make sure that I'm aware of my feelings and what's going on, meditate again, really to help with the mind. And then I've got read because I really wanna make sure I am learning more and I'm not spending as much time scrolling on my phone or on line in general. And then we've also got stretch because I'm getting to that stage where I gotta stretch regularly or Things just ain't gonna work the way they need to work. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> so those are the bits that I put on there. So the only one that I think I am going to change from this list is I'm gonna change walk to workout. I realized that some days it's just a lot for me to get outside and go for a walk. Now I know that completely defeats the point of trying to improve myself, trying to be better and trying to do something that's good for me because the whole point of walking was to get myself outside in fresh air and also to move my body. But some days it's just not possible whether my mental health is stopping me from feeling the need to go outside or I've got a really busy day and fitting in a walk might just be really, really tricky. What I've decided to do is change that to a workout because what I found last week is whilst I wasn't always willing to go outside for a walk, I was often open to working out from home, doing a little quick workout, even going down to my car park. I did like a little sprint session last week. Like it's all about taking into account how you can accommodate mental health days and how you're feeling. But note that you still actually want to achieve something, just not exactly what you thought you set out you want to achieve if that makes sense. The other bits were pretty simple, pretty easy, and also can improve my life in many ways. I'll be keeping those. So walk is just gonna be changed to a workout and leaves things open because a workout could be a walk if I wanted it to be. It could be um, going to a workout class. It could be just dancing around and having a good time. Like honestly, I'm gonna leave it as open as possible, just making sure it's still within something that will improve and add to my life. So as you can see, this challenge is really simple. There's nothing crazy about it. And this is what I really wanted because I really want to center this around just helping you to feel better within yourself, helping you to progress and be the best self you can be, just helping you to feel better within your mind and your body. Um, so when it comes to the habits, feel free to fill in whatever you personally want to achieve, whatever you want to do, like make sure you fill it out in a way that feels good to you. If you want to use some of the habits that I've listed, then definitely do. That would be amazing. But for now, this is what it's going to be about. Okay, so I'm really excited to get this challenge started and I'm really excited just to start to move forward because I feel like I've been quite stagnant and not known what I want to do, etc, etc. And I feel like this challenge is going to give me room to just move forward or at least feel like I'm making some kind of progress in my life. And I'm really excited for that. So if you guys want to be involved with this challenge, I'm going to be running it mainly on my Patreon page. I'm super excited. I've just launched it. So over on my Patreon, I'm going to be posting loads of different things like articles to help you guys like learn more about your bodies, whether it's about like gut health or whether you want to target different muscles, like how to go about doing that. I'll be posting like motivational extra videos on there too. And also updating you guys on the challenge and like books that I'm reading. So we can have like a little book club if you guys want, but I'll just like share what I've learned from the books and how I'm implementing them in my life. I'm actually also going to be releasing a free like mini workout plan on there as well. Nothing fancy, super simple, really targeted for beginners. If so, if it's been a while since you've exercised, you don't really know how to get back into it and you just need something to focus on for a little while, that is gonna be over on my Patreon as well. If you don't wanna join my Patreon, but you still wanna get the habit tracker, it will be on my website. So I'll link it down below so you guys can go and check that out as well if you want. But also I will just be posting about the challenge, posting about what I'll be doing, etc., etc., on my socials. So you catch me over on Instagram. I might start documenting a little bit of it over on my TikTok as well. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try guys to keep up with TikTok, keep up with the young ones, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I wasn't sure if I was gonna share this challenge with you guys because I just felt a little bit all over the place with it. I felt like I had to be perfect. I felt like I had to like really think about it, blah, blah, blah. But I was like, do you know what? If you keep putting off changing your life, 
your life will not change. Like you have to just start. Like there's no perfect day, there's no perfect moment, just go for it. It doesn't matter if you decide to start this challenge halfway through the day or on a Tuesday or on a Wednesday and instead of a Monday, you decide to start it on a weekend, like it does not matter. Like it does not have to be the perfect moment. It doesn't have to feel like this big life-changing moment. It's just you making those small little changes that in the bigger picture will make that really big change. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'm excited to start to make a change in my life. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys later. Bye.